Welcome to the last turn and place system you will ever need. It is superior to mesh based turn and place in every possible way. If you're making an adventure game and you have orient to movement like the third person template uses, then we turn in place to face the last input vector. Or if you're making a melee based game with strafing, you can use strafe desired or be use controller desired rotation in the character movement component and it will turn in place when we stop moving. And if you're making a shooter, you can use strafe direct, which is what Lyra uses. We can clamp the max angle so that it will never shoot behind us. And we can also pause the turn and place system, which makes it act as if there is no turn in place. This is great for rope motion montages. We can also lock the turn in place that so will obtain the facing direction. There are many powerful features that you can peruse from the animation graph by looking at the turn anim set. We have options to change how it selects the turn animation. We can have different turn angles based on the turn mode. And we can define different step sizes and we can define all of this separately based on the animation state, including the stance. So we're not constrained by the same step sizes when we're crouching or standing, for example. So head on over to the GitHub page. Learn about why actor-based turn and place is superior to mesh-based turn and place that Epic offers with Lyra. And then read the wiki for the instructions and go to the overview to see the complete set of features. Thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing many Unreal Engine projects that have been enhanced with actor turn in place.